Hi everyone, my name is George Nikola and in this tutorial with 3ds Max and Corona I will show you how to set up the viewport configuration for virtual staging and if you are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing, smash the like button and click the bell notification icon too. And now you see my 3ds Max loaded and I'm staring at the blank screen now so we have to start by uh, clicking on Alt B and this gives me the viewport configuration uh, panel so I have to press use files and then go and find my file which is right here double click and then I'm fine so the next step is to maximize my viewport by pressing this button or alt w I want to align my ground grid with the room the next step is I want to see my save frame, which is Shift F. Basically, this uh, gives me an accurate representation of my image aspect into my viewport background at the moment. The next step is to get our box, which this will be our room in a minute. Then we need to set up the height of the box at 240 or 50 centimeters in my case then we should go into the utilities tab perspective match and show vanishing lines and we are giving a set of six vanishing lines two for each direction or each axis whatever you call them For our convenience, we can use this pan and zoom mode by pressing the plus sign and going to the pan zoom mode. This will allow us to move around the viewport without moving any objects in it. So I can go and start aligning my scene. Always make sure you use every axis on the same wall of the same color which means the green axis should be on the same uh, should be pointing the same direction the red axis should be pointing that direction and the vertical ones should be vertical as you can see 3ds max is kind of guessing what what is happening to the the, the viewport So far, I have to exit this and start moving my, with my middle mouse button. I can do this. And if, as you see, I've just tried to zoom in and I've destroyed my perspective. So I have to go back and make sure I fix everything before I proceed. And I totally lost control of it. And I will show you how you can prevent losing control over your perspective match is just in a second so I have to go back into the zoom mode and check all of the axis yeah this one was not right so I have to make sure they are all straight otherwise we will have an accurate results in the end and now when I'm ready what I want is to create a camera, so go into the drop down menu called create and then we go to create cameras and create standard camera from view and we have our first camera here, then exit the pan and zoom mode and then we can start adjusting the camera's position by playing with those settings here. Press G to hide the Low grid we don't want it for now and I think for our convenience we can use pan and zoom mode again to see what is going on over there so that the as you see the image is slightly off so I 
this is fine and now it's off at the bottom that's very funny yep now it's fine everywhere almost okay now one final tweak and we are ready to go exiting my pan again and another very important step is to lock our camera so go and select camera select camera and hierarchy and then we need to select link info and lock those positions basically you have to tick all the boxes here and this is preventing our camera to move around and accidentally to mess around and will destroy our progress so far. So the next step is to start basically amending the box by creating an uh, editable poly object of it. Press four to select the polygons and then start aligning all the polygons accordingly to the space. I am already seeing some parts are slightly off but this is fine for now then we have to select two basically two is the edges edge mode and then we select the, the, those two because i want to create those vertical edges and to make sure i have the, an accurate representation of the space then connect remove this here another one connect again and now we need to use the x-axis to make sure we set up this and now I'm I'm not sure if this is the uh, absolute straight line so I have to use snap so snap is basically the button S on your keyboard or this thing here now I can go and make sure this is fine and if you if you if this is your first time loading the 3ds max uh, perhaps I assume the this will look like that so you don't need all of these uh, snapping points and helpers so just clear them out and use the vertex one and this by the way can be found when you right click on it and it will appear the next one is i need another connect here and another vertical here and before i proceed i should fix this wall as it's too wonky Alt W, Alt W again, and press P for perspective. Basically, let me see where I am. Yeah, I need to fix that part. So S for snap, and make it show it is aligned with this wall. And now I'm fine. And then I have to connect here, and basically I need to delete this part. So just press 4 and delete then press 3 for border and select the new opening shift drag and we create an extrude basically the new wall and then we go and cap that wall then we go and select edge mode again so we need to create another connect here we need another one here and another one if you're wondering how I'm able to select all of those um, edges, I'm holding down control button on my keyboard and with left mouse button, it selects everything I need. Then press four to delete those polygons. Uh, Alt W, Alt W. C, when you press C, it goes directly into your camera view. And now you see is something is off here. Basically, it, it is the room is not absolutely straight. So I have to make sure before I start rendering, I have to check where is the problem. I assume one of the diagonals is not fine. It's my line. Let's check this one. Yeah, as you can see, this wall is slightly off in reality, I assume. So sometimes we should improvise and 
do a couple of trials back and back and forth before we nail that that absolute accurate representation then we go back and play with those settings again As you can see, this completely destroyed my progress so far. Now you select everything by holding down control and just adjust everything. So I can see the image is not straight either. So in one of the other videos you can see how I fix that problem but the purpose of this tutorial I won't do this because uh, I want to show you how it can be done even if your background is not perfectly straight then I exit this and I'm ready to go now the next step is to set up the material basically we go here and create a new material for the purpose of this uh, virtual staging, we need three parts. We need a material called shadow catcher material. We need a tone mapper control and we need our map to just drop in the slave material editor. Then connect this pipe in to the back plate and make sure you untick all those three boxes from the tone mapper because we don't want anything, any light or exposure or uh, colors to affect our background. Go into the shadow capture material, make sure alpha mode is transparent and set up the shadow mount to five. Then select our room and press assign material to selection we need a light now so we go to the create panel light corona corona light and make sure it is rectangle so alt w alt w again To, to make it more accurate as the light is important for virtual staging always make sure the non-physical properties are unticked so you have to make them like that and now all i need is to set up a sphere and to see how this is all working if i press the interactive rendering and now you see my ball is intersecting with the floor, which is fine. I can easily go and fix it. Alt W, F for the front view. Alt W. Alt W again. Right click. Move. Alt W. And I'm fine now. And if I press the interactive mode now, I see everything is fine and my light is casting shadows onto the floor here. And we are done. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, click the like button and press the bell notification icon.